trying to find a potential lover on George Street. It's a place many of us have been before. It can lead to devastation, public embarrassment, or worse. Of course, I've found myself in this situation a time or two before, and let me tell ya, it's not pretty. See, some would say that George Street is a place of legends. Relationships are made on George Street, and relationships are broken on George Street. Other things are broken on George Street, too. My friend lost her two front teeth on George Street. She caught her man on a Florida Sundance with another woman, and she threw a fish. She started throwing cocktails and punches and hair extensions, and before they knew it, the three of them were out on the street where the cops busted up the fight. The two girls got thrown into the drunk tank and ended up having to have a slumber party timeout of sorts, you know? It's just a thing that happens on George Street. But don't get me wrong, relationships are made on George Street too. Magic happens on that street. People are conceived on that street. I know, I know, sometimes it may seem like every time you go into a bar, you already know every young fella there and there's nothing to choose from. But let me tell ya, you, you just need to take a moment, say a little prayer to the liver gods to present you with something to work with. You must open your heart, open your mind, order a double, drop all expectations, and keep your eye out for a come from away. Once you've at last laid your eyes on something serviceable, you've got to claw your way through all the other girls trying to dig their grimy little claws into the last living man in St. John's. You must move quick and make a clean out before it's too late. But if you're looking for something that you can have and keep, something that's made right here, well, but I don't know what to tell ya. Try Alberta. Has magic ever happened for you on George Street? Comment below.